the applause, please. Such a lively bunch. So, first of all, hi. How are you? That doesn't sound too good. You guys sound worse than I do. So I have to apologize up front. I'm dealing with a little bit of a allergy thing, so I got a little Barry White going on here. I don't usually sound this manly, um, but hopefully my voice will last for the 12 whole minutes that I have you. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is the clicker here. That's not the right one. Are we good to go? <laughs> Other way, gosh. You're welcome, Jimmy Fallon. All right, so how many of you guys are store owners? Okay, the rest of you get out. I'm just kidding. Um, so today I wanna to talk about social media content marketing tactics to get more business. How many of you guys want more business in your e-commerce stores? A few of you, okay. The rest of you also leave. You don't know. Um, so uh, <laughs> here's the funny thing. Oh, first of all, who am I? Um, I'm Dustin. I wear red V-neck t-shirts. Uh, I also blog, uh, I have a little blog. I'm co-founder of a WordPress plugin called Social Warfare. Uh, I'm a WordPress lover and coffee addict. Any coffee addicts in the room? Yeah, I've been suffering today because they say coffee's not good for like a raw throat. Uh, so I'm going to live vicariously through all of you. Um, so <laughs> the, the funny thing about this is that I have 12 minutes to tell you everything you need to know about social media and content marketing. And when I got that note, that's what I looked like. Uh, how in the heck am I gonna tell you everything a story owner needs to know about social media and content marketing in 12 minutes? Well, I'm gonna do my best and uh, hopefully you can track along with me. Do you know what happens in 12 minutes on the internets? Uh, well, I'm gonna tell you because I have a slide for it. Uh, 50 million Facebook posts are liked in 12 minutes. Uh, that's a lot of parents and grandparents liking a whole lot of inappropriate things that they shouldn't be doing. Uh, 4.2 million tweets every 12 minutes. And only about half of those are Kanye West rants. Uh, it's incredible. 21 million photos liked on Instagram. Can you say selfie? Uh, 116,000 new pins. Uh, most of which are those workout calendars that you pin that you'll never actually do. 3.4 million snaps. Anybody on Snapchat? Not a single one of you, good. Okay, one person in the back. Uh, out of those 3.4 million snaps, approximately 25% are Kim Kardashian's spa day. Uh, 3.6 hours of YouTube videos uploaded every 12 minutes. That's in 12 minutes. So in the time I'm done, all of this will have happened on the social interwebs. Now the point of all that is that your customers, the people that you're trying to actively reach, your audience, your buyers, your potential buyers, this is where they're at. This is where they're spending their time. They're liking the posts. They're tweeting the hashtag, hashtag WooConf. Uh, they're snapping their friends and family. So your goal is to reach those people and meet them where they're at. There's a few things we need to get straight before I get started in my 12 minute and everything you need to know. Uh, but the great thing about my 12 minutes, I don't really need to teach you everything because you don't need to know everything. Uh, so take a deep breath. <sighs> Doesn't that feel good? You don't have to know everything. Uh, second thing we need to get straight, you don't need to spend all the time and resources uh, that you have on social media and content marketing. Some of you are looking at me going, I don't have 12 minutes to put on social media. How many of you are in that case? Like, I don't, literally don't have 12 minutes. This guy in the front, this is for you, sir. Um, sigh of relief there. Uh, all you need is a good, solid strategy uh, and a commitment to consistency. Can you guys commit to a solid strategy and some consistency? Yes, nod your head so I know you're still tr pretending to listen. All right, good. All right, so. Last thing we need to get straight is social media and content marketing is about connecting with your audience in a meaningful way. Now I want you, okay, I come from a, a youth background. I used to teach youth and teenagers. So it just helps me, just for me, can you just repeat this with me so that I can feel good about myself and go home and tell my mom like the audience was totally tracking with me. All right, so we're gonna say this together. 
Ready? Social media and content marketing is about connecting with your audience in a meaningful way. Good, I've done my job, awesome. All right, so benefits of social media and content marketing may include staying top of mind, staying at the top of your customer's mind, your audience's mind, nurturing customer loyalty, who doesn't want some customer loyalty, yeah? Uh, and fostering advocacy, which is the ultimate marketing. Go. Oh, uh, so in a nutshell, in a nutshell, social, oh gosh, I hate this thing. Um, social media content marketing can be your greatest marketing channel. So let's start with, this thing literally hates me. Uh, let's start with content marketing because social media is actually a subdivision of content marketing. So let's start with the big, the big parent. What the frack is content marketing? We need to get this straight before we can go any further. Uh, my working definition of content marketing is earning the attention, trust, and business of your target audience through producing and sharing valuable content that meets their needs. Now that's like a whole lot, please don't try to memorize that. Uh, you can take a picture of it. Uh, uh, by the way, you can get all of this uh, on my, my personal blog uh, down in the bottom right hand corner, dustin.tv forward slash WC16. You don't need to take notes. You don't need to like take pictures. Uh, it's all there. It'll be there for you if I don't make this 12 minutes, which is looking pretty bleak. Five minutes left. All right, so types of content marketing. What, what are the different forms? So blog posts, social media posts, ebooks, white papers, infographics, email newsletters, videos, slide decks, podcasts. Conference talks, content marketing. Uh, another one not listed is forums. Is Chase, Reeves, Chase Reeves? There he is. Forums. He knows all about this. Fizzle.co. I'm not paid to say that. But forums are a great way to produce user-generated content. Whole nother talk altogether. But here's what I want you to know. You can look at all these different forms of content marketing. You don't need to do all of these. Okay. Pick two and try them out. Content marketing, as I'll get to in the, oh gosh, I'm really running out of time. I'll get to down the line is a long-term goal. It's not spray everywhere and pray. It's uh, laser focused uh, and intentional. Resist all the urge to be all things to all people. Be very specific about who you're creating it for. Now this is really important. If you get nothing else out of this talk, please know this. Ask yourselves, who you're creating content for. What problems are you solving? But more importantly, who are you solving those problems for? Uh, I, I want you to go home, co coming from this conference, going, who is my target audience? Who is she? What, what are the problems that she faces on a daily basis? Um, and I want you to put a name to it. Uh, go through your customer list and find your ideal customer from that list. Give her a name and create things specifically for her. I talked to a lot of bloggers about this that you need to be laser specific about who you're writing for because only then will you resonate enough for them to be, uh, become advocates and for it to actually land. Um, create content that solves problems uh, and give it away. How many of you heard the book Utility by Jay Bear? Y-O-U Utility. One person. Okay, Utility by Jay Bear. Buy it, read it, live it, and tell him that I sent you. Um, fantastic book to sum it up basically says be useful to your audience create something of high value and just give it away prime example one of my favorite companies CoSchedule how many heard of CoSchedule yes okay enthusiastic hand in the air uh, so CoSchedule for those of you who don't know it's a content marketing calendar that integrates with WordPress long story short they create a content marketing tool and they have produced one of the best content marketing blogs in the world. So they create content for their uh, users because they know they're in the content marketing space. Uh, another prime example, social warfare. Full disclosure, I co-founded it. So we have a product that's a social sharing plugin and we produce content that helps people share things better and get things shared uh, better. Uh, be consistent, like I said, content marketing is a long-term strategy that leads to sustainable, predictable growth. Uh, now, on social media, I'm gonna have to fly through this one, so are you paying attention? Yes, a few nods. Okay, I got a handful of you. This isn't the field of dreams, people. If you build it, they won't just come, all right? Don't chase squirrels. You don't need to be on every social network. You don't need to be, uh, have a profile everywhere. You only need to be where it matters. 
So how do you know where it matters? So you use tools, uh, social listening tools, and here's a handful of them. Again, you can get this on the website. There's actual clickable links, so you don't have to screenshot it and try to go there later. Um, but listen, these tools will allow you to find where the conversations are already happening. You can find keywords, or do keyword searches, to find where those important conversations are happening and find where your target audience is. Find the ones where the, uh, the conversations are happening and don't worry about anything else. Uh, top two to three networks. How many of you would consider yourself a small business? Okay, how many of you have less than two people doing social media full time? Okay, two to three networks tops. I promise you, you will do much better by going deep uh, narrow and deep than trying to go wide and cast a huge net. Uh, you don't need to find and follow anyone, just find your audience and engage deep, deeply. I don't have much time to talk about this, but listen, find the people who matter. Find your advocates, find those who are already talking about your topic, those who have a following, and allow them to amplify the message for you. Build relationships with these people who are influencers. And that way, your efforts can scale beyond you. You don't want it to have to be your effort all the time. You want to strategically build these relationships so that your message gets amplified whether you're there or not. Be a cheerleader, not a broadcaster. Don't be one of those other companies that's always talking about yourself, always talking about your product, always sharing your own links. You want to find every reason to showcase your users, to showcase your customers, the work that they're doing, because that will develop the, uh, the trust and the loyalty that, you're, uh, that you've always wanted. Uh, use visuals. This is a, a common uh, tactic. Visuals just do better on social media. It's proven that uh, on Twitter alone, it could increase your engagement up to 50% just by throwing an image, image in there. Um, quote graphics, infographics, animated GIFs. GIFs. Just <laughs> I always get some booze. I was waiting for that. It's GIFs, people. We'll debate that later. Um, mentioning people. So whenever you have the opportunity, say on Twitter or Facebook, try to mention users' names. Actually use their name. If you're citing a company or a customer, mention them. They get a little notification, uh, especially if you're being a cheerleader in that instance. You want to let them know you're being a cheerleader for them. So use mentions to your advantage and make sure that they know about it. Uh, hashtags, still relevant. I get that question a lot. Are hashtags still relevant? If you're using the relevant hashtags. Um, I've got 22 seconds, holy cow. Time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? 22 seconds, sorry. Um, ask questions, always ask questions whenever you can. Use the, uh, this tool of social to be social and allow other people to be social too. You'll find fantastic insight uh, when you ask questions. And uh, make sharing easy. So taking it back to the content on your website, you want to make it easy for those people, those advocates, the people who are consuming your content to share that content for you. Um, give them the right tools, uh, the right content, uh, or the right tools to share the content and amplify your reach. Um, one quick tip on that. Uh, when it comes to social sharing buttons, I know a little bit about this. Don't put every button on the planet on your web page. Uh, we were t hearing about conversion optimization in the uh, sessions this morning. One thing you want to do is only add the social sharing buttons that matter to your audience. You're on two to three uh, social networks, right? Only add those social sharing buttons. I promise you. I don't have the time to go into the paradox of choice and the psychology behind it. Trust me. Uh, two to three social sharing buttons, you will get more shares and more traffic. Uh, I already said that. Uh, social proof, always give it uh, the, whenever you can, provide examples of the fact that somebody else has shared this or somebody else has liked this or testimonials. Social proof is a powerful social tool that humans use to gauge whether or not something's trustworthy. Uh, and leverage your effort. Uh, again, when utilized correctly, social media and content marketing will allow you to scale your marketing efforts beyond your effort. And that's what every store owner's dream is, right? To not have to be the driving force behind every sale, every lead, uh, to have your users doing it for you. Thank you for your time. Uh, again, available on Dustin.tv forward slash ABC 16.